everybody welcome back to my saxophone lessons my name is daniel i come on one more time you're welcome i want to wish you a very happy christmas and a prosperous new year ahead so i'm going to be sharing with you guys good news right now so i'm offering 50 percent discount from my book called 30 days of freezing it's no longer 15,000. it's now 7,500. you can easily get the book um 30 days of freezing by sending a message to normal display on the screen so let's go for our lessons today so today i'm basically going to be teaching you how you can apply stuff to your playing how you can apply your skill your phrases what you've actually learned over time on your um songs right so today i'll be doing the basic on how to apply songs okay songs are basically formed on melodies uh, all right i'll just do a little bit of theory before we go into practical Please be patient, watch this video to the end. I'd like you to share the video to your friends. Drop a comment. If you want me to do more video, I want you to put a comment. So, in the comment box. Yes. How do I apply phrases and skills on my songs or songs that I have, um, of phrases that I've learned over time? So, this is how it goes. If you want to apply phrases on songs, you need to understand this basic rudiment, which I'm going to be. Um, sharing with you. The first thing you need to know is the time signature that the song was being played on. You need to first of all know time signature. That's number one. If you're writing on what, by, while watching this video, put it down. Know the time signature. Rule number two, you need to understand the melody of the song, the chorus of, of the all melodies of the song. So you need to understand the body structure of the song here before the melody. So we'll talk about the body structure of the song, which comprises of the verse or the intro, the verse, the chorus, you know, and you need to know what point to um, apply it by understanding where am I applying this phrase to? Is it the chorus or what part am I applying it to? Is it the verse? Okay, so this is how you build your structure. That's for number two. Number three is now the melody. The first one is to understand the time signature. The second one is to understand the body of the song. The third one is to understand the melody line of the song, right? The melody lines. Once you are good with the melody, you are familiar with the melody, it's easy for you. Then the fourth one is not 50-50. It's 50-50. So the fourth one is the understanding the chord progression which the song was being played on. So that when you are improvising, um, you'll be able to apply the phrases properly. Understand the chord progression. That's the four. Understand the chord progression where the song was being played on. Then number five is for you to understand this um, stuff I'm going to be showing you now. You need to understand the um, the difference in the notes within the melody, right? So um, we have different type of notes within the melody. So we have a um, landing note, right? We have different type of notes within the melody. So we have landing note and continuous note. So um, continuous note are notes we which goes in um, which goes consistently. Um, without having so much rest, so much time to rest. So landing notes are notes that has, when you land on the note, has a, a larger number of rest. So that's what I call it. That's my concept of applying stuff within a uh, scale. So you need to understand what the landing note is. So landing notes, what I call landing notes are notes where it has enough amount of rest after the melody, those melody. So you can apply stuff on it. So I'm going to be giving you an example of landing notes. All right. So you need to know the difference between steady notes and landing notes. Okay. So let's go. I'm playing my saxophone. I'm playing a song on the saxophone, I'm, and I'm going to show you some examples. All right. That's it. If you're patient enough, follow me and watch this video to the end. And and also good use, you can sign up for my personal lessons. I'm compiling new students for 2024. If you want to be among them, send a message to the number displayed on the screen. <laughs>
so before I'm going to be applying stuff, I just play the song, you are Alpha and Omega, alright, so I'm going to be using that song to show you the, the difference between continuous note and Latin note, so I'm going to be um, singing it, you do re mi mi, you see the, the, the continuous melody note, do re mi mi, alright, starting note of the melody, continuous note of the melody, and also um, landing note within the melody, so you are Alpha and Omega, we worship you are Lord, you are worthy to be praised, now that is the landing note, do, land, like I said, landing note, a note that has longer rest within, so within that note, you can actually apply some of your phrases that you have practiced over time, so and that fits in within the chord, right? And with the landing note, you can easily know the chord. If you understand the concept of melody, you can easily know the chord. You know, I get a lot of questions. Do I have to go and learn piano all from scratch to know how to improvise over chord changes? Not exactly. You can go and learn the basic concept of playing chords on the, on the, or chord formation on the piano, but um, you can if if you have the time, that's fine. But if you don't have the time to go learn piano with this concept, it's going to help you to um, be able to know how to how where the chord lands on, where the main chord lands on, and all that. So and depends between accidental chord and so I don't want to go into that right now. So this is the the, the landing note of that song. Thing. Over the landing note, I'm going to be playing basic diatonic scales and. That we can actually you can actually apply on the song and basic phrases that you can apply. Don't forget to purchase my phrase book, 30 days of phrasing, 50% discount. It's now 7,500. So if you can afford it, send a message to the number that's laying on the screen. I was applying that scale. If you notice, um, when I did, so you can see the so this is a landing note, it hasn't quite numbers of rest on it. So, one more concept I need to show you on how to apply. The phrases you need to understand what is called the melody replacement. That's why I said you need to know what the you actually really need to know what the melody of the note is, so that you can replace the melody with the phrases that fits, fits with it, right? So what I did here was melody replacement. Sometimes the song is playing in my head. I just have to replace the melody with some phrases, right? Okay. <laughs> Actually, see me replacing the melody. The song was just singing in my head. I went, you are, we worship. You are worthy to be praised. Oh, so here yeah, the blues comes in.
sorry, sorry about that. I had to go play a bit with the song. So I hope you understand what I've been able to share with you in this um few minutes of talk and play and teaching. So um it's it's really, really nice to understand the concept. It takes time to actually master this concept. It doesn't take twenty four hours to master the concept. So by day by day, precept upon precept, you keep practicing, you keep applying it on different songs. Then you discover that you've automatically um, can now do it effortlessly. So if you want to train with me, you want to train, you want to sign up with me. Um, I'm currently available for a few slots for 2024 classes. Um, yes, feel free to send a message to the number displayed on the screen if you want to sign up for my personal class. I look forward to see you. Have a good time. Bye.